What's going on you guys, this is a Max KDI, I have another HP Compact Pro 4300, this is a small phone factor, this tear down. And first you're going to do is remove the side cover panel here, and what you're going to do is remove the thumb screw here. And you can lift this up, like this. And we'll go ahead and start off, and what you guys are probably need is, uh, you probably need a Torx T15 screwdriver. Something like this, you need a Torx T15 screwdriver, otherwise you can use a flathead screwdriver perfectly fine to remove the screws here from the motherboard. So let me go and start off from the front cover basil here. So there will be little clips right here, probably lift them up like this. Remove the front cover basil. And you can lift this up right here and disconnect the SATA and power. And disconnect all the other cables here and do that. Just uh, get a flathead screwdriver. Okay, now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the optical drive. To do that, just got there'll be one screw here on each side, right here. And this comes out, lift up like this, and it comes out. So this it's whole. You have to unlock the one screw right here, secure here, to slide it, and it slides up. Now. Go ahead and uh, lift this up and go ahead and disconnect from the power here. And remove the hard drive, just a little secure clip. You press out like this and it slides out. So you can disconnect the SATA and power. And then we're gonna move the screws here from the hard drive. Now and there'll be four pin right here, you have to disconnect right on the motherboard. And you can disconnect all the SATA cables here. And the four pin right there. And you can move the fan shroud here too. And remove the power supply, it just lifts up like this and it comes out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all the other cables here for the front panel right here, the USB audio, internal speaker, front panel, power switch, on and off, power LED, and disconnect the memory. And I'm going to go ahead and start off this side, the front here. And it's got a clip right here in the front too here. Okay, disconnect the fan here. I'm gonna try to disconnect the front fan here, fan shroud. And it's held by the clips here. It's got a two clips right here, two in the bottom, two in the top. And it comes out the fan, 92 millimeter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start off uh, from the heat sink right here. Processor heat sink.
And the other side. Heat sink removed. Now I'm going to try to go in the front here, remove all the cables from the front here. And it looks like it's held by one screw here too, so... Okay, so it slides out like this and it comes right out. The front panel looks like USB and the power switch. And it comes out, it's held by the one screw here and this comes right out. Now will be the last part is the motherboard and let's see, internal speaker here I have to remove also. This is an internal speaker. And be the last part is the motherboard and the processor. So I'm gonna go and start up from the bottom here. They gotta be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total eight screws. And to do that, this little latch, you gotta lift this up right here, remove the PCI brackets. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off from the bottom here. And there will be three screws here in the top. I'm going to lay it down. And be the last part is remove the CMOS battery and the processor. And to do that, I'll just go ahead and uh, let me see. Okay, so I'm just going to use a uh, remove the processor because I was going to use a napkin to get the thermal comp pay off. But thermal comp, I'm just going to leave it on. So remove the processor. And you're done. Here's the motherboard. So hey guys, this is a teardown for the HP Compact Pro 4300 small foam factor. So hey guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.